Schlafzimmer. Okay. Any problem? Not really. I need another bag of your water. I'm sorry I've not paid for the one I took last. Sorry, I don't sell credit. Considering the fact you are a child, I don't know you. I don't even know your parents. Hey, little girl, come. Go in there and carry one bag of your water. Thank you. You don't know what you've done for me. You are welcome. Oh, please, sorry. Come. Oh. You, you're pointing. Your, your temperature is very high. Sorry. Need some coke. I need. Hello? Kennedy, it's me. Kennedy, I have a situation here. My friend is seriously sick. He's down with cold, yet his temperature is very, very high. I, I don't know what to do. No, he hasn't eaten. Okay, I'll force him to eat and dab him with cold water. I will do just that. Hey, thank you very much, please. Hey, you have to eat something, okay? Oh, your temperature is very, very, very high. Just hold on. Let me dab you. Sorry. Sorry. Obim, mm. see how you're sweating under the AC. Hmm? Sorry. You have to drink this. Mm -mm. You have to drink this, please. Okay? Mm -mm. Uh, hmm. You see, it's not harmful. Hmm? It's very sweet. Yeah. Mm -mm. I don't know. You don't want. Come on now, don't do this to no, me, please. I don't want. Take this. Don't even. Don't even say no. I'm not hungry. No, you're not hungry. The, the, see, this is fruit. And who said fruits are for satisfaction of hunger? I don't have appetite. Uh, you don't need to have appetite to eat fruit. It's fruit. It's not food. Eh? There's difference. Oh yeah, eat. Take a bite, please. Bite, bite, bite. Good. Mm. Look at your face. Why are you making that face? I gave you pineapple. Sweet one. Uh, you're making face as if I gave you a bitter leave. I bet you that thing. True, 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 true. Uh huh. Mm -mm. How's that? Eat, my friend. Take a bite. A bite. A bite. Yeah. Eat. You need something inside that your belly. That your e e empty belly. <laughs> <sighs> Baby.
Bem... Bem... <laughs> Hello. Hey. Good morning. Good morning, my angel. Mm. How are you? Slept well? Mm -hmm. Good. So? What? Why so early? You know you're still recovering, big head. Yes, I know I'm still recovering, but I have to do everything in my power to make my baby special enough. Okay? Mm -hmm. I want to make some food for you. You took out time to take care of me, so I want to take care of you. So? You step aside. Let me do the cooking. Uh, no. You step <laughs> back aside. As a matter of fact, I'm done. Okay? I'm done. Forget about this. Are you serious? Yes. <laughs> I want to get something special for my amazing, super duper amazing mm, baby girl. It's okay. Okay? It's All right. Me. I'll stop. But mm -hmm. you head into the parlor and then let me be done with this and I'll serve you just as the queen that you are. I'll see you. All right, first of all, give me some sugar. Mm. <laughs> some more sugar. It's okay. It's okay. <laughs> some more sugar. <laughs> all right. All right. So, how do you like yours? Mm. Just do your thing. Let me watch you make my breakfast. Do my thing. <laughs> <laughs> Do I look like a sugar aunt? No, you look like my baby. Good. So. And I hope you remember I don't like sugar. Oh, yes. My bad. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> but I want sugar for myself. Though. Anything for you. Yep. Mm. And uh, okay. here you go. Oh, that's okay. This for me. Mm. No, 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 no. Just wait. Hold on. I'll save it. I'll handle it. So, mm -hmm. do you want me to serve you, feed you, or you handle it yourself? Feed me? Yes. Oh, come on, baby. I am not a baby. Okay. You're my baby. <laughs> I know, but come on. It's okay. I'm going to feed myself. All right. All right. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, um, now that you have recovered, uh -huh. I'll be leaving to go prepare for my POP that is coming up in three weeks' time. And also get done with my clearance. No problem. Honey, even if you decide to leave this moment, you have tried. Okay, because you forsook everything to stay with me. And I feel better now. And I promise you, okay, even if not now, I will repay you very soon. Oh my god, you scared me. 
How are you? I'm fine. How is your trip down here? Mm, stressful. Sorry. So, so, I know you're wondering what we're doing here, so why don't we go in and find out? No? Okay, okay. <laughs> Ta-da! Baby, I want you to pick whatever you want, okay? Don't, don't, don't be shy and uh, pay no attention to quantity, okay? Oh, babe, you, you already got me some things a few months ago. Yeah, then I did, but now I want you to choose yourself. Come on, go on. I don't want you spending too much, come on. What do you mean you don't want me spending too much? Look, you never know when next we'll be able to spend my salary like this, so... Eat it. Spend it. <laughs> Come on, go ah. around. Go look around. Okay. If you insist. Mm. Okay. I think I'm a little bit confused right now and you I are? need your assistance, so come. No, 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 babe. Just choose for yourself. Come help me now. <sighs> okay. I don't want to Okay, 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 all right. Don't know what this dance is, but at least I'm not dancing alone. Oh, kinds of crazy. You heard what I said. Friends, we became lovers. We were so in love with each other that everyone around us wished to be like us. When I passed out from my NYSC, I quickly rushed to his house and to my surprise, he engaged me. Babe! 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 
baby has become a big baby. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, baby, I am super, 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 super excited. You know, my service here has finally come to an end. And I am proud of you. I know you have a lot to tell me, but just keep that in mind and come. I swear, come, I have a lot, come. a whole lot of ways. Just come. What? Come, 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 come. Come. <laughs> Anything, I can get you anything you want. Uh, okay? Food? Yeah, oh, whatever it is. I'm not hungry. Jeez, the, the, the joy of today has filled my tummy. Like, I don't want to eat anything. <laughs> I'm glad. Close your eyes. You heard me. Close your eyes. No peeking. I'm watching you. Close your eyes. No peeking. Are you sure? Yes. Open it. I know you want to kiss. Me? <laughs> <laughs> Honey, you have been the most amazing woman I've ever met. You, you make me happy. You fill me with so much joy. As a matter of fact, I don't feel complete without you. I just want to ask if you would do me the honors of being my wife. Why are you looking so sad? Is everything okay? Are you all right? I'm okay. <sighs> okay. So. I'm not sad. Your your kind words make me so emotional. Ever since I met you in that place, exactly twenty sixth day in the city. You have been, you have been everything to me. You have been a brother, a lover, everything. Why didn't you say yes and let me spend the rest of my life with you? I want you to be the mother of my unborn children. Come on. Hey, Mary. He's a nice person, just like the person my teacher told me about. <sighs> Divine. I have always told you that you will go back to school. Okay? Don't give up hopes. You will still go back to school, just believe. So... What kind of a person did your teacher tell you about? He said every man should love and respect their wives so that their children would learn from them. <sighs> now I understand. Your father was very loving. However, three years into our marriage, after I had you, you were two years then. I started noticing some changes in my body system. Waist pain, tiredness, and bleeding from my vagina. Initially, I thought it was the regular menstrual cycle. But after I ran some tests, I began to think otherwise. The doctor said I should desist from lovemaking as it aggravates the pain and the bleeding. 
And so I got home. I got home and told your father about it. And since then, the peace in my home vanished completely. Your father started nagging. He nags at every slightest thing, even without being provoked. He nags. Going out. Going to work, of course. So you mean you refused me access to your body last night and you're just stepping out as if nothing happened? What do you want from me? What is your problem? What's my problem? No, what's my problem? Okay, fine. No problem. Go. You come back here and meet me. See you later. Have a nice day. You'll be back early. What is wrong with Obina? I have tried my best to be a good wife, but all I get is insults, pain, humiliations. Why can't he understand me? No, be patient with me. Does he want me dead? How else do I approach this problem? How, how? This is not what marriage is all about. You promised me better, Obina. You promised me love. You promised to stand by me against all odds. You promised to take care of me. be the man I fall in love with. This can't be your winner. Obina can never hurt me this bad. This is totally, totally off it. This is this is wickedness. You can't inflict pain on me like this. This is... This is wickedness. This is wickedness. Notwithstanding the state of my health, this is total wickedness. I want us to talk. 
as husband and wife. I notice you have been so upset with me lately. Reasons I don't know. So please. If I have hurt you in any way. Knowingly or unknowingly. If I have wronged you. Please. Tell me, let me apologize. I don't want us to continue living this way. I don't want us to. I want to be a good wife to you. A good mother to my daughter. I want to be everything to you. Just tell me. Tell me where I have gone wrong. I will sincerely apologize. This whole thing is eating me up. It is. Please, my love. Tell me I will apologize. Anyway, if you say you want to be a good mother and a wife just like you claimed, you should remember vividly well how much I love sex. How much I love to <laughs> enjoy my wife. But if you've chosen to, to refuse me of this, I don't know how you can become a good wife or a mother. Obina, you know the state of my health. I need your support now like never before. I need you to support me through this trying time. Marriage is for better, for worse. I need you to support me through this difficult time. I, 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 I can't do this alone. I, I need you. I need you, my love, please. <laughs> The, the thought of my health is constantly <clears throat> draining me. It is draining me. I can't even imagine it. Anyway. <laughs> anyway. The doctor that told you to tell your husband to be patient with you. Have you been able to ask her if her husband will be able to be patient with her in such a similar circumstance? No, no, no. Have you? Because all you've got is, uh, is vagina cancer. You cannot die from it. I'm sorry, but you, you can't die from it. Okay, it's your cross. You, you, you have to bear it. Okay, but not, not when I want to do, and you, you'll be saying no. You'll be saying, you know what? You are so unbelievable. I mean, what do you want from me? You don't just want me to recover, right? You don't. What do you want from me, Obina? I am done with this conversation. I am done with this conversation. I want to discuss something with you. What is it? 
I'll be going to my sister's place and I'll spend some time there. Is that it? Well, if it makes you happy, fine. For my sanity's sake. I'll be leaving divine with you. I'll be back soon. But I just need to stay away for some time. How will you be leaving a two-year-old child with me? I mean, what do you expect me You know what? If, if that's going to make you happy, okay. All I did wrong was loving your father, but he stabbed me in the heart. After I left my sister's place, she took me to a specialist who examined me and found out that if more time is being wasted, the cancer is likely going to go into another stage. The doctor quickly booked us for his surgery, so we went to inform your father about the situation. But it was of no importance. All he told us was that if we can go through any process, we should be able to go through this as he had no money to support us. He sent us out. I was so, so devastated. My sister took me back and paid for the surgery. I had my vagina constructed. Throughout my stay in the hospital and at my sister's place, your father never called. He never called to check up on me. After one month, I became a bit better. And then I decided to go back to my house to meet the shock of my life. Where are you? Hello, welcome. Take that back. How was the journey? Very well. Who are you? I ask again. Who are you and what are you doing in my house? Are you insane to have ignored all my questions? Did you not hear me? Who are you and what are you doing in my house? You ask too many questions and my kind of person answers questions one at a time. I just discovered you back to give me headache, which I won't tolerate. Come, let me go and feed you. People 
Good morning. Good morning. I hope you slept well. Yes, I did. We are expecting the room won't be good enough for me. I didn't say that. Obina, I am very much aware that you know I came back yesterday. Yet you returned and you never cared to say hello. It is so bad of you that all the while I was away, you never called to know how I'm feeling. To think that we are in the same house and you still did not care to come check up on me. What is your problem? What is the problem? I returned home yesterday to meet a strange pregnant woman and a little boy. Went to my bedroom, our matrimonial room, only to find out that my belongings has been moved to the room we reserved for our children. As if that wasn't enough, Obina, you left my only child, two years old child, in the hands of our neighbor. What is wrong with you? What is going on? How cruel can you be? You, you don't even think at all. You, are you not a father? Nothing is going on. And if something is going on, I'm sure you can obviously see it. Oh, there's no even point. There's no point beating around the bush. Okay? Because that woman you're seeing on our matrimonial bed is my wife. You see the child, the unborn child inside of her belongs to me. And that small little boy you saw is my son as well. Your son? A boy older than divine. Your son. I wasn't stuttering when I said that, was I? Neither was I drunk. Look. The sooner you get used to these individuals in this house, the better for you. You yes, son. Stopping the peace of this house. It's not as if I'm looking out for you. I just want to tell you. you want to cry? Why not cry like a learned person? Why are you crying like an illiterate? Ah, you see what you've caused. Eh? Now my baby's kicking because of your noise. My friend, if you want to cry, cry like a learned person. But no, you're not a fool. Honey, I need some money. I need some money to do something and also take Divine to the hospital, please. But you took her to the hospital already. Yes, I did, but her fever is still there and this is the third day. I, I don't even know what to do. See, I don't have money. Or I don't have money. Obina, please. What? You know I have been relieved of my duties. And, and I spent everything I have in the hospital. Please, our daughter needs to see a doctor. I don't have any money on me. Don't you get it? My wife has been in the hospital for the past two days. And you know I've been spending money on that. We know we are also your responsibilities. We are your responsibilities. Myself and Divine, please. 
been like there is anything I have done to you. Please do not transfer it to my daughter. Please, I'm thinking. You know what? You can think whatever you feel like, okay? Leave, leave me alone. Seated here doing nothing, absolutely nothing, when you could actually be helping out Doris with the child. Doris, Doris, Doris. Everything is all about Doris, right? Now she has put to bed, you suddenly realize I exist. Eh? Obina, it's been four good months I came back to this house. Not for one day, even a second, have you come to, to, to talk to me. But now Doris has put to bed, hey, where is Feather, right? Obina, please, carry your cross. That child is yours. As long as me, Fevo, exists, I don't know that woman. And I don't want to have anything to do with you, not that woman. Excuse me. You call yourself a mother. I call myself a mother. No, you call yourself a mother. If I am a mother, only me knows. She don't know me. I don't know you, nor anything that concerns you. Excuse me. What are you doing for now? They travel. What? You are taking the car? What were you thinking? That you leave it. That I should leave the car my parents gifted me. She must be ridiculous. Now, what must be ridiculous is if you think that you can leave this house and come back anytime you want, you must be joking. If you step out of this house, I don't want to ever see you again. Do you understand me? And who said I'm coming back? What? You've always wanted me out. And yes, this is me giving way for you to enjoy your concubine and your son. Bye. <laughs> And as for you, homebreaker, my God will judge you. You shamelessly moved into my home without regards, without remorse, without fear. And you are a woman like me. You destroyed my home. I put it to you, my God will judge you. You will not end well. You will not end well. You will not end it. well. You I will not it. end well. I reject it because you're not my God. You will not end well. <laughs> what are you going to cry? My friend, go and open the gates. Let her drive out. <laughs> Madame, they go. My friend, will you get out of here and open the gate? <laughs> she should go. Now, is she going to stay before? Let's go in.
Mommy, Mommy, wake up, Mommy, please wake up, Mommy, don't do this, Mommy, please wake up, Mommy, please wake up, Mommy, Mommy, please wake up. Mommy. My mommy, oh, my mommy, oh. Ah. Help. 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 Please help us. This environment, ah, you mean people live here? Yes. This bushy environment? So how do I trust you? Sir, please. This is our house. Please help us. You mean you and your mom live here? Yes. So what really happened to your mom? I don't know. You don't know? Ah, so it's true. Is this your mom? Let me check her pulse. We've lost her. It's way too unfortunate. Yeah. They brought her in too late. And there's nothing possible we could have done. What a pity. How are we going to leave this to her daughter? Will she ever cope without her mother? I don't know. But certainly she will come out of it. She's a strong girl. Let me contact her to bring any of her family members. Okay. Yes, good evening. So, who are you and what are you doing seated in front of my gate? I am Cynthia, a destitute. Oh. I'm sorry to hear that, but uh, unfortunately, I don't have any more space in my house, okay? So, just uh, run along now.
They say blood is thicker than water, but not for wicked people. You, open the gate. Okay, hurry up, hurry up, hurry up. Come and help her take this thing inside. Thank you, sir. Have you eaten? Good morning, sir. Good morning, my dear. How are you? Fine. You woke up early this morning? Yes. Slept well? Yes, I did. Good. And you cleaned all of this place? It's very good. You're hardworking. Thank you. Come on. I've not even accepted her living with us, and here you're talking about enrolling her in the school. Let me ask you, what is that girl doing in this house? Don't give me that look. Or is she offering us something that I don't know? What kind of a question is that? I don't know, you should tell me. I mean, this girl woke up very early this morning and cleaned the entire house. You touch anywhere in this house and see if it's not clean. And you're here asking, what does she offer us? Really? This is not about me. It's about the girl. No problem. I understand this very well now. She be wants to roll in the school. Go ahead. Hmm? I'm not talking. No. Go ahead. But I'm looking. I'm watching. Father Abraham. I beg. Rubbish. <sighs> Troublesome woman. She's never going to change. You're back. Afternoon. 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 Oh, yeah. Afternoon. You want some? You can have. How was school? Give your sister. Mm -hmm. oh, you guys are looking hungry. So what you do now is you go upstairs, have your shower, and change your house go to the kitchen and clean your food. Oh yeah, take your sister upstairs. That's my baby. Cynthia, the food is inside the drawer in the kitchen. I can't find my lunch. And what do you mean by you can't find your lunch? Didn't you see the food in the drawer? I saw a cup of beans and it's uncooked. What makes you think that is not your food? My friend, if you must eat, go to that kitchen, cook that beans and eat it. That's your lunch. Yeah? What do you take me for? Your slave. You will go to school and come back 
expect me to cook food for you to eat. No, now. Your, your, your slave you kept in the house. Your house girl. My friend, get out and go and cook that food. For God. It's not your fault at all. It's not your fault. It's Obina's fault for enrolling me in the school. My, 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 my precious children attend. And when you come back, you come and ask your, your slave for food. Don't that fire you, dear. You have not seen anything. This is just Genesis. Mom, if you had not left me, what would I be doing here with this wicked woman that is married to my dad? I am suffering, but I have no other place to go to. If I had, You like the movie, right? It's very interesting. Mama. What's it? What's the problem? Are you blind? I know you don't have sense. You don't have it. But at least you have eyes. You can see. Are you not seeing I'm seated here with my family? What are you doing here? My friend, get up. I'm talking. I'm still seated. Hey, come back. Come back. Stand there. I can see that you're very, very less busy these days. You don't have what you're doing. I'll have to get you busy. You know these people that hawk? Those who carry an orange. Buy your orange, buy your penipo. You will join them. Mm, this period, what time you learn penipo? You'll be selling very well. You'll go and sell it. So that you, that will be what you're contributing for the school you're going to. It's not as if it's your school fees, though. Because I don't even know why my husband enrolled you in the same school with my children. As what? Anyways, I can just use the money and buy makeup. Mm -hmm. Get out! Get out! Get out! Cautious. Mom, this girl is really looking for my job. She's looking for my job. I will, I will deal with her. Clean that place she touched. Before she will fight you with her craw -cro body. <laughs> Mm -hmm. That's my boy. Give your hand too. I don't even know if she's smelly. Angel, are you okay? What are you doing, Hawk? Come on, get in, get in, get inside, get inside! Come on, come on, come on, come inside. Sit down, sit down, sit down. Okay. What are you doing here? I am selling oranges. You're selling oranges or you're hawking oranges? Who asked you to do such a thing to be embarrassing me on the street? Auntie said I should sell oranges because my school fees is expensive. Because your school fees is exp Okay.
Go, come this way, come this way. Doris! You, go inside, go inside and go first. Doris! Honey? Honey, you're back. Welcome. How was your day? What's the meaning of all this? No, you tell me what exactly is the meaning of all this. Why have you decided to turn my house inside out? I don't understand. What are you talking about? What do you mean by what am I talking about? Now, how many children do you see hawking on the streets there? So why do you have to send this little girl to go hawk? Is that why you're shouting? Me, is that why I'm shouting? No, is that why you want to bring down the building? Common sense should have told that girl to go to where hawkers hawk. I didn't ask her to hawk on our streets. Now the very next time I see you maltreating that girl, you're going to find it hot with me. Do you understand me? I'm going to leave my house in one place and then you're going to, you're going to come and turn it inside out. Let this be your very last warning. <laughs> you pushed me because of that girl. <laughs> Wait, Obina, did you just push me because of that girl? <laughs> this girl is at it again. Wait, what Cynthia! Passed my ATM twice, and I have just enrolled for the third. Honestly, I don't know my fate. I don't know if I'll be allowed to accept my admission if I pass this time around. God, please, God, please help me. God, help me. Cynthia! Cynthia, yes, Auntie. Why is that trash still inside the kitchen? I thought I asked you to trash it. Ati, sorry, I'll empty it in the evening. It's because of the sun. Can you see? You will empty it in the evening because of the sun. How do you tell me when to do things in my house? I'm sorry, Ati. Sorry for your stupid self. Now listen to me. Let today be the last day. I will tell you things to do and you will give me the time you do them. That sun was your home before I, I, I housed you. Now you've grown. Sorry, Auntie. You've grown now, right? No, Auntie. Just that I'm going to do it. Why did this girl bring... Cynthia! Yes, Auntie. My friend, come back here. Yes, ma. What is this stuff doing here? Okay, Auntie, I, I I saw it in the storeroom the other day when I was cleaning the room, so I said to bring it inside. Yes, Auntie. Is this the only photograph you saw there? No, no, Auntie. It's, it's just that the person in this photograph is very beautiful, and I always admire those on NYSC uniform. Yeah. I would have asked you to take this back to the store. But no, 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 no. You see this the uniform you're talking about? Admire it. Eh? Look at it very well. When you wake up in the morning, you look at it. Because this uniform, you're never going to wear it. Are you hearing me? Mm -hmm. Admire it. I know that when you finish admiring this uniform, you admire the second and you would like to get married. Yes, that's it. Wonderful. Demma. Very good. I love the way you dream. You dream high. Foolish thing. Come on, get out of here. Hey, come back. When yes, I asked you to get out, do you know how to fuck John? Yes, that's it. Now do it. Mm. Oh, 
one could argue I've been hindering plans thus far. Look, I can't be a part of this. This is wrong. You are a great part of this. This is information that you provided when you planted that device. This money funds terrorist acts all over the world. We are simply unraveling it. This isn't espionage. This is, this is just robbing a bank. Harry, are you blind not to have seen that I was just in this channel you changed? Hey, when did you become deaf and deaf? Hey, time? hey, hey, this is my father's house. You don't have to tell me what to do, you, you bloody orphan. See, I might be an orphan no, for all I care. There is no problem. You just look after your mom, both physically and then in character wise. You should have at least been sensible like uncle. Hey, what do you say? Are you, are you stupid? You're talking to me in my father's house, are you stupid? I can slap you all you want to, I really do not care. But I'll have to tell you the piece of my mind. I mean, how do you expect yourself to pass your UTME exams where all you do is go about smoke, you drink, you chat, you chase girls around? I am better than you in all ramifications. No matter how you, your mom, and everyone treats me in this house, so I'll go ahead and eat your television. I'll do it again. Eh? Nonsense. Mom, I don't think it's the right time to send Cynthia away from this house. Why? I'm not comfortable with her anymore. Did anything happen recently that I'm not aware of? I don't like the way she used to insult me. I don't like it. My sister Olivia did not insult me the way she used to insult me. We take this girl away from this house. I don't like her anymore. Henry, I understand what you're saying. But I want you to stay calm. Take it easy with her. You know your father likes her. I don't want your father to suspect us. Regarding the way she talks to you, don't worry. I will caution her. Well, you better do something now. I do something. will. Henry, do something. I will. I will. Henry. Hmm. Why is she making my children uncomfortable? <laughs> Let them not say I say do. Are you cold? Yes, sit down. Cynthia. Yes, Auntie. You know Junior is my son and he's older than you are. Yes, Auntie, I know. And as such, you must accord the same respect you give to me and my husband. Yes, Auntie. That's if you want to remain in this house. Henceforth, Act the way I want you to act. Say things the way I want you to say them. Yes, Are you auntie. getting me? Yes, ma. Don't go contrary to what I am saying now. Do things the way I ask you to do them. Okay, ma. Better. what were you doing when I called? I was, I was preparing the ingredients for dinner. What do you want to cook? Offense salad, auntie.
Dad, hmm? I wanted to talk to you, but then I guess you're busy, so I'll just come back later. Oh, no, it's okay. It's all right. Sit down. Sit down. What is it you wanted to talk to me about? I just finished watching the program. Dad, please. Hmm? I want to ask for forgiveness. About what? If there is any way I've wronged you and mom, please forgive me. Because I know all is not well. Why? Why would you say that? I know you have provided me food, shelter, and I've ever seen me from primary to secondary school. Honestly, I am not ungrateful. I am not. But Dad, the truth is, I want to further my education. I have passed my ATME thrice. And still, no hope of writing my post ATME. That's why I'm here to beg you, please, Dad, forgive me. Sit down, my daughter. Forgive me, It's please. okay, it's okay. Sit down. If you want to talk to me, you can have a seat and talk with me. Now, talking about your exams, yes, I've been told you had done two exams, not three. Now, it's now listen. Okay. No, no, you listen to me. The first one you did not pass. The true. second one, my wife told me that uh, your result was not released. So what exactly are we talking true. about here? Honestly, Dad, I have never failed any of my exams. I have never. The first I wrote was two years ago when I sat for work, And of course, I was offered radiography. I told mom about it and then she told me I shouldn't mention it to anybody and she would want to be the one to break the news to you. I waited, no feedback. Then the second time, I wrote my UTME and I was offered medicine and surgery. Then I told her about it and I even told her about the expiration of my acceptance fee. And that was when she broke the news that there is no way I'll be going to the university when Henry, my elder brother, has not passed his exams yet. And then the third time, he said the third time that I've checked my results, my UTME results. Henry scored was 73 and I, I scored 330. And now I have this feeling that there is no hope of me writing my post UTME. Dad, please. Shh, 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 shh. Come, on, come on. No, 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 no. Stand up, stand up. Come, come, come. Sit down, sit down. It's okay. It's okay, my daughter. It's okay. Don't cry again. It's okay. But uh, are you telling me that my wife Doris did all of this? Yes, Dad. Stop crying. It's okay. Hmm? It's okay, my child. Yes. Stop crying. You know what? Just go to you. Thank you. Thank you, Dad. Uh, my daughter. Come. Sit down. Now, all those your results, do you still have them? I do, Dad. You I have do. every one of them. Exactly, Dad. Good. Get them for me first thing tomorrow morning. Really okay? Me. Yes, Dad. Go in. I'll sort the rest out. Thank you, Dad. Doris. So, what about the results of these children? Because the university has just announced a new session. I already told you their results were not released. So I concluded they are not taking their post and exams. Really? Yes. So how do you explain this? Tell me, how do you explain that? Honey, I did this for a good reason. Henry, our son, is yet to pass his exams. He will be destabilized knowing a stranger in his father's house is going to the university before him. Do you ever think of your son? Come on. I'm, I'm beginning to see reasons with him when he said you are taking care of that girl more than him. Will you shut up? 
No, did you just refer to Sinta as a stranger, someone who has completely taken over your kitchen and helped you with almost everything in this house? You call her a stranger? Now, let me tell you this. If that child fails to enter into the university because of your negligence, I won't find it funny with you. Honey? How did he get this? How managed? How did this came out? What is good about the one I asked you? Who is your mother? I asked you not to tell my husband about your resort, but no, you told him. Big girl. Come here. Look at me very well. The very next time, eh? The very next time you will go against me in this house, you will not like me. I have only suspected you are here to destroy my marriage. But I didn't know you did this early. But if you try me in this house again, Cynthia, if you may not say what I'll do to you. But the next time you go against me, you will not like me. Fool. Try me again and see. That's all you want to have to say in this house. So. Yeah, I know that this admission, I'm going to secure it. I cannot post my life because of you now. Uh -uh. Very good. So, I was able to do all that I promised you. I was successful in changing your course to medicine and surgery at the jump office and register you for the screening exam. Thank you very much, Dad. I really appreciate it. You're welcome, my child. I'm only sorry for everything my wife did to you. It's fine. I totally understand. Mm. All you just have to do is promise me you'll face your studies. Okay? Promise. Make sure you read and pass your screening exam. Definitely, Dad. I will. I promise. Good. Okay. Keep it safe. I will. I promise. Thank you very much. Uh, let me go and pick a few things for my trip. Thank you very much, Dad. I really appreciate it. Good luck. Thank you, Dad. Finally. Yeah. Hello, my dear. Hello. Make sure you do not disappoint me. Okay? I will. Study well for your exam. I'll be back in five or six this time. Definitely. Keep the phone I gave to you very well. Yes, okay? And make sure you call me if there's any issue between you and my wife. Definitely, I will. All right now, Dad. Okay. Okay, so. Bye, Dad. Bye. Take care. Yep. Bye, Dad. Here you are relaxing. When you've not prepared the meal I asked you to do. I say I've done every single thing you asked me to do, including the lunch and thing. Mm. Yes, Auntie. And you think this is the best thing you should be doing now? Auntie, I have exams tomorrow. I'm trying to prepare for my exam. I'm not relaxing, please, Auntie. I have exams tomorrow. Yes, well, is it? But after the exam, so that we turn back to Bara. Hello, Daddy. Good evening. Daddy, the exam was okay. Yes, Dad. Of course, I passed my exam. They even said that our results will be printable from next to tomorrow. <laughs> yes, Dad, I still, I still do. And, um, of course, Dad, when are you coming back? How is the conference going over there? All right. Have a nice day, Dad. Bye. Dr. Harizi, 
God is God. He's fine. Uh, we only need more blood. I advise you go to God Care Hospital and get two more pints. Or you better look for a donor. Okay, doctor. But doctor, why not we look for a donor? I will pay any amount. I, I, I will pay. Instead of you going outside to look for a donor, it's imperative we conduct a compatibility test on your children to see if any matches. All right, doctor, I've heard what you said. I'll put a call across the children and I'll go to get case hospital to get it. Can I see him before I leave? Well, oh, I told you he's fine. Uh, apart from the numerous fractures on his leg, he'll be fine. He only needs rest. By the time you're back, he must have recovered. So you don't need to worry, okay? Thank you very much, Doctor. But Doctor, please, I beg you in the name of God. Just do everything you know you can do within your powers to make my husband come back. I can't lose him. Apart from being his doctor, I'm also his friend. So, I'm obliged to make sure he's fine. Okay? God is God. I'll try my best. Sorry. Thank you, Sorry. Take care of yourself. <laughs> we thank God for everything. Yeah. God is God. Yes, I'm grateful to you and grateful, of course, to God. <laughs> thank you. Yeah, you know, I'm happy you're back to your feet again, my friend. <laughs> well, now that I'm here, I'm not on any medical reasons or appointment, I believe I can ask you the question I want to ask you now. The question? Yes. What question? The Samaritan. <laughs> See, Obi, now there you go again. Huh? There are more things to talk about than this you're asking. Huh? What are you talking about? What do you mean by there are more important things to talk about? I'm asking for the good Samaritan who donated blood to me where there was none. Hmm. The one whose blood flows in my vein right now. You're asking me the more important thing. Please come off it and, and, and let it out. Obi, now. Uh -huh. Your family. Yes, my family. What has my family got to do with this? Your children. Come on. I, 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 don't, I don't know what your problem is. I, I'm asking you a simple question. Who my donut is here? They're telling me <laughs> my family, my children. Go straight to the point, please. Obi, no. Know how to think. <laughs> hmm? The both children are not yours. What did you say? Oh, doctor! Shut your mouth! I came to your office to ask a simple question and you're here telling me that, that my children... Do you want to break my home? No, tell me! Do you want to destroy my family? Don't come on me! Obina, what do you think I will gain from lying to you? All I told you is the truth. I mean... When you were sick, we invited your children for a laboratory test. And the result came out AS. I insisted the chief laboratory scientists must rerun the test. We did. 
and the result came out same. We also invited your wife for her own tests, and she is AA. Now, be not tell me. If you are AA, your wife is AA, and your both children are AS, what do you get from it? I know you're not a medical practitioner, but I am sure your knowledge in biology will also let you know what it is. Did you get it clear? Now you need to trim these your fingers. I need to know. Welcome, Dad. Honey, you're welcome. Is everything okay? Doris. Yes. Who is the father of these children? Come on, what kind of the real question is that? Now you better answer my question before you know what the real is. I said, who is the father to these children? You better start talking before I do something I'm going to regret right now. <laughs> After you proposed to my sister Beauty, I saw a part of her I never knew existed. She was full of life. She visited you often. And when you promised her that Dubai trip, my sister goes to market almost every day to get things, especially clothes, to make her look beautiful for you. And one of those days, she went to the market. My sister had a ghastly motor accident. I left her on a wheelchair. Beauty, you've not touched your food. Why have you not eaten your food? Sis, why are you doing this to yourself? Do you want me to lose you? See? Please, just eat your food. For the sake of me, even if you don't want to eat for your sake, just eat for my sake. Okay, I'm going to feed you. So I already told you. I don't want to eat. I'm not hungry. Please. Who oh, in my condition will want to eat comfortably? Even Obina has not visited, nor even called me for two weeks now. Really? So this is about Obina. The Obina you're sitting here thinking about is there enjoying himself. Obina does not know you're starving. I don't like this you're doing. I'm going to feed you. Yeah, open your mouth. Beauty, please stop this. Okay, I'm just going to feed you later so that you can be able to take your medication. Please now, just look at me. You don't want to see me again. Just talk to me. You don't want to see me again. You can eat. Please open your mouth. Nice one. Well done. Please, beauty, stop this. Now you're breaking me down. Give me a nice. Yeah, let's go. Mm -hmm. Now you're doing like my sister. Do you want water? Mm. Hi, 
Hey sis, you reading? Yeah. Guess what? What? Guess now from my face you're able to guess. Tell me. What is Kennedy is coming back. So I'm very happy because I can't wait to see him. <laughs> so happy for you. You're not smiling. Isn't this love? In my own case, what can I say? Obina, who promised me heaven on earth has abandoned me. Obina has visited me. Just once. Once. It's not fair. Sis, I understand what you're saying. But just cheer up. Someone new will come into your life and make it beautiful. <laughs> so just forget about Obina. But you know what? Give me your phone. Let me call him. Maybe he can change his mind. You don't know. Where's your phone? Cheer up. Oh, you've not changed his name. Hello? I noticed that my sister was losing it. After it became clear to her that she was losing you. I called you. I called you with her number. What did you tell me? You asked me never to pick a phone and call you again. You blocked her. You never came visiting. Even for one thing. Did you care? No. <laughs> One day I went to the hospital after I had missed my period. And I returned home. And I lost my fiance after having Harry. <laughs> and I was pregnant of Olivia. It was five weeks then. I know you will never say they are not your children. Because we started seeing immediately after Beauty's death. <laughs> after you told me of your wife's inability to satisfy you sexually, I took that opportunity. And here you are, asking me, the father of these children. Obina, you took everything from me. Did you know you deserve more than this? Obina, I'm talking to you. You deserve worse than this. I didn't do anything. You took everything away from me. And here you were asking me who are the father of this kid. Can you hear yourself? You killed my sister. You killed my mother because she was a mother to me. When you killed Beauty, you killed me. You killed me. She was the only family that I had. Obina, you took her away from me. You were a murderer. You were a beast. What will you do? Beat me? No, you can't. Yes, they're not yours. They're not your kids. And you cannot do anything. I didn't do anything to you. And you were here standing. I swear that I will make you pay. I swear that I will make you pay. Obina, you deserve everything. You deserve everything and more. She will be wicked. Obina, you will be wicked. My God will punish you. My God will deal with you in your own. You killed my sister. <laughs> My children, I'm sorry. I only wanted a father figure for you, but I'm sorry. You know, mommy wouldn't have done something bad. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> I wish you can see your wife. At least you apologize to her. I'm so 
I'm sorry. I'm sorry. It's all right. You know, mommy, you know, mommy can never do something bad. You know, I did it for you both. So I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. Richard, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> Dad, you're now always like this. Whenever you come back from work, you just keep to yourself. You will not stop eating at home, that why? What is food to a man without a family? What is food to a man who has lost everything? Please let me wallow in my misery. And by the way, why didn't you live with them? No, oh, Dad, don't say that. You remember you helped me when I was hopeless. You don't expect me to abandon you now. But then, I can leave you if you think I'm disturbing you. No, no, come, come, my child. Come. I've been meaning to ask you something, but I haven't been in the right frame of mind to do so. It's too bad. Dr. Daly told me something at the hospital. He made mention that you were the donor. But. You asked him to keep you anonymous. You mean despite everything my wife put you through in this house, you still decided to help me out? What I want to ask is, why? Dad, I'm really sorry if you're not happy with what I did. Oh, no, 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 no. But the truth is, I couldn't let you suffer. I couldn't abandon you. When I heard that you didn't have a donor and then, they were looking for who would get blood so they would transfer to you. I had to present myself to be tested. And fortunately, fortunately it was a match. There was no way I would have seen you suffer. I can't abandon you. Probably that's my only two way of saying thank you for all you have done for me. Thank you, Dad. You're welcome, Dad. I'm sure your parents will be very, very proud of you. <laughs> I hope so. I really hope my mom is proud of me. It's okay. My mom suffered. She really, really suffered. And the annoying part of it is that I watched her suffer. I saw her trying to fight for her life. She fought for her life. My mom had cancer. I never knew what cancer meant. The first time I ever heard of the word was when the doctor pronounced her dead. I really did not understand, but now I can say that I understand because she suffered and then I can relate it to the story she told me a very long time ago. It's okay. It's okay. It's not... Don't cry. That's, that story sounds like that sounds like my first wife's story. But um what about your dad? You don't, you don't usually talk. I don't want to talk about it. I don't want to talk about him. Why? He abandoned my mom and I when we needed him the most. He abandoned us. He left us. Why don't you forgive him and reach out to him? No, that, that question should go to him and not me. Although I found him, I know who he is now. And then just... Go we'll meet him and, and make peace with him. Cynthia. Cynthia. That, 
Her story sounds like what type of story my own child would say. Do you know this person? Where should you get that picture from? Answer me, do you know this person? That's my first wife. And that is my mother. My sick mother that you abandoned. You left us and you took in another woman. You left your biological family for I'm another sorry. woman. I'm so sorry. I hugged in the rain and then under the sun just to make ends meet because of you. Did you look for us? Hell no, you did not. Because what? You had Doris and then you had your son, of course your daughter. Did I ever exist to you? Did you even think about going out to go and look for your own children? Hey. No, 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 please, hey. don't even try you. No. <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> It's okay. I'm sorry. I searched for you. No, no, I searched no, for no, you. No. I did. No. It's okay. I'm sorry. No, no. I'm sorry. You should have told mom out now. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Okay? I promise you. I promise you. You can keep going. Hey, hey, hey. Look at me. I will rectify all of you. Okay? I will rectify you all. You can you can keep your name. You can you can keep whatever thing it is you want. Okay. <laughs> oh my God, it's okay. It's okay. I missed you. So you here? 